good morning. All right, I have for you a 10 minute energizing workout just to kind of get the blood flowing, get that metabolism going and help you to feel energetic and amazing. So go ahead and get right up. Let's just get right to it. And listen, for those of you who maybe have an injury, need to keep it a little bit more um, low impact, or if you're living above somebody and you need to keep, you know, I'm gonna give you modifications. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do this all for time. Just go ahead and join in with me. And let's just start by moving the body. So we can march a little bit in place, or if you want, you can kind of do a little jog. Whatever feels good to you, remember to keep injuries in mind. And again, if you're worried about, you know, the person below you, like what is going on in there, then just keep it here. Just a little march, okay? But let's just kind of get the body awake. Good morning, body. Good job, we're gonna keep it going. Let's just kind of go off to the side. Boom, a little bit to the other side. Just kind of follow along with me. And again, if you need to keep it low impact, you're just stepping and bringing that knee up. Yeah? All right. Just a few more seconds here, then we're gonna move on. We're gonna do a squat combination, okay? So again, if there's any pain going on, then you're gonna modify. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go squat and then bring that knee across the body, other side. So go ahead and jump in with me, okay? Squat, bam. Almost like you're bringing that knee up really forcefully. Again, if this hurts, just bring that squat halfway. Or you can even just keep it here, all right? Well, let's go. Whole body movements. We're breathing. We're just feeling good. Let's do what feels good to you. You got 20 seconds to go here. Let's keep it up. Oh, yes. Almost there. 10 more seconds. And we're gonna switch it to skiers. And I'll give you some different levels for that as well. Okay, good job. So skiers, we're gonna bring our hands, like you have two poles in your hands, right? I'm on my tippy toes. You scoot back and then I'm gonna Dig the poles into the ground. Dig the poles into the ground, okay? So really imagine every time your arms come down, you're digging into the snow. Get some core workout. You're up on your toes. For those of you that want to make this a little more impactful, you can always jump up. Jump up, okay? So make it work for you, friend. Keep going. Good job, we got about 20 seconds left and we're moving on. Good. Swoosh down that mountain. Woo! Good job. We're almost to the bottom of the hill. Yes! Good job, all right, done. Go ahead and shake those legs out, shake the arms out, take a breath. Take a breath. All right, next thing we're gonna do, you might need to hold on to something for this if your balance is a little wobbly, that's totally fine. But try not to put too much pressure on whatever you're holding on. So you can have your hand on the wall or chair, whatever works for you. So we're gonna stand on one leg and we're just gonna hinge forward at the hips. So that leg is nice and extended behind me and I'm looking straight down at the ground. Find a spot that's not moving and stare at it, okay? Slight bend in the knee that you're standing on. Three, hold. We're gonna make this active in just a moment here. So just keep holding. If it's helpful, you can bring your arms out to the side. Breathe. Good. All right, we're gonna to start to bring that leg under the body and then back out. And then under the body and back out. Okay, so we went from holding and doing an isometric exercise, turning it into an active exercise. Make sure your spine is nice and straight. You should feel a little burn by now. And stop, good job. Kind of shake it out. Woo! Feel a little lopsided. <laughs> Let's do the 
other side. So same thing. Find a spot that you can stare at that's not moving to help you balance. Slight bend in that leg, and we're gonna balance. Breathe. So nice long spine. You don't need to be parallel with the floor, just balancing. And again, if you're holding on to something, try to not be putting a lot of pressure, just kind of using it to help you balance. Good job, breathe. We're almost there, we're gonna make it active. And go, bring that leg under the body and back out. And under the body. Good, just keep moving through that. Breathe, you should feel that booty kind of talking to you. Almost there, come on. 10 more seconds. Woo! And good job. So just kind of shake those legs out, kind of move around. That one felt good, huh? Yeah. All right, next one we're going to do, it's a little jump rope. We're just going to pretend, but I want your hands moving like you're actually jump roping, okay? So get ready and go. So just like you're actually jump roping, again, if somebody is below you, you don't want to make a lot of noise. You can just stay on your toes, right? So I'm just bouncing through the balls of my feet here, okay? So you can keep it like that. If you can, really pick up those feet. You can bounce, move the arms. You can do little, little run in place, but we're moving the arms. Hey, get fancy with it. Come on. This is your opportunity to look like a total Jump rope and stud. <laughs> Good job, keep going. Almost there. We've got about 10 more seconds. I'm gonna switch her up. Good job, keep it up, keep it up. Good job, and stop. Shake those arms out, shake the legs out. Feel good? We're almost there. All right, we're gonna take it down to the ground. We do a little bit of core, okay? So, hands and knees. I'm gonna tuck my toes under, bring my knees up. This is a bear crawl position. And then from here, I'm gonna go straight back to a downward facing dog. So adjust your hands and feet if you need to. And here we go. Bear crawl to downward facing dog. So we're just moving between these two positions. Breathing. Good job, keep going. And then for the last bit of this, we're just gonna hold that bear crawl with the knees off the ground. So this one's nice, low impact. Getting the whole body moving. Next time you come to bear crawl, I want you to stay there. Stay in bear crawl and hold. You wanna make it a little harder? Pick your left foot off the ground and then your right foot off the ground, just alternating there or you can just hold here. 15 more seconds. Good job. You're almost there. Five seconds. Good, and let's bring it on up. All right, we're gonna end with some kicks. All right, so I want you to see a target. Get to the side, okay? You're gonna bring your knee up and out okay so don't don't kick straight out bring it up and out okay see your target get ready and go kick so that knee comes up and you kick try to make your foot be to the side right so toes are not up foot is parallel to the ground good job remember this is just a Morning energizer, just a little something to get your body going. Get your metabolism all wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Almost there, come on. Five more seconds, we're gonna switch sides. Good job, okay. Other side and right away, up and out. Up and out, really kick, kick. 
30 more seconds. Come on. Good job. You're breathing, right? Watch how great of a day you're going to have because of starting your day like this. You're going to feel energized. Okay, 10 more seconds. Come on, let's finish with greatness. Here we go. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and done. Very good, my friend. Okay, let's just do a little bit of a couple of nice big breaths. Nice big inhale. Reach those arms up. Exhale, we're gonna drop into forward fold. Two more times like that. Big inhale and reach. Exhale, diving down. One more time. Feel that energy flowing through the body. Good job, let's roll it up nice and slow. Getting up to the top, shaking it out. Take a couple breaths. Thank you for starting your day off with me. That was so much fun. I hope you have a fabulous day. I know you will. All right, I'll see you next time.